The Grammar of Argument and Persuasion Unit 15, Argument and Persuasion An argument is a statement or series of related statements that presents an opinion on a particular matter with the intention of persuading others. An argument is a point of view or a reason for a point of view. Arguments can be objective or subjective. Objective arguments. Objective arguments are based on facts. These types of arguments sound formal and are usually impersonal and professional. The paragraphs found in these types of arguments are usually long. Nominalization is used in these arguments, along with words that are specific to the subject being argued. Nominalization. Nominalization is the changing of an adjective or a verb into a noun. For example, poor becomes the poor, judge becomes judgment, and admire becomes admiration. Examples of objective arguments. Example 1. The advantages of attending school can be seen through an increase in the test results of students throughout the course of a school year. Example 2. Having an even spread of male and female employees in a workplace will have a positive effect on the workplace. This will be caused by an increased output by the workplace due to having as many qualified employees as possible and having those employees being very different. Subjective arguments. Subjective arguments are based on personal feelings and opinions. These types of arguments sound informal and use emotive language to create empathy for the topic. Simple sentences are common and fragmented sentences are also used. Familiar or colloquial language is used. Contractions are also used. For example, I'm and can't. Fragmented sentences. Fragmented sentences also called incomplete sentences, are sentences without an independent clause. Example 1. When we got in the car, we rolled down the windows. Colloquial language. Colloquial language is very similar to slang. There are three types of colloquial language. These are words. For example, the use of the terms football and soccer in England and America, respectively, is a colloquialism. Phrases, for example, the phrase, she'll be right, is a colloquialism. The phrases, eat my dust and old as the hills, are also colloquialisms. Aphorisms, for example, I wasn't born yesterday, and put your money where your mouth is, are colloquialisms. Examples of objective arguments. Example 1. Cats aren't better than dogs. They're emotionless, betraying animals. Example 2. Learning about history isn't a waste of time. You can learn lots of great things about the past and use it to shape the future. Do it yourself. Nominalization. Do-it-yourself, fragmented sentences. Do-it-yourself, objective and subjective arguments. Answers, nominalization. Hungry becomes the hungry. Develop becomes development. Skeptical becomes skepticism. Adapt becomes adaptation. Answers. Fragmented sentences. Some students in the class study together. Becomes. Some students in the class study together. Mary had a brother who was sick. Becomes. Mary had a brother who was sick. I have a really bad car and the engine keeps failing. Becomes. I have a really bad car and the engine keeps failing. Answers. 
objective and subjective arguments. The presence of iPads in a learning environment has beneficial and detrimental effects on learning. This is an objective argument. The man on the television isn't a threat to citizens in the area of Fremantle any longer due to his apprehension. This is a subjective argument. 